So we are recording this meeting. Okay. 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 So Queen's Gambit start with it is a King's uh, Queen's pawn opening. Okay. Start with d4, d5. Now what will you call this one? Can you tell me? This, Queen's Gambit. This will be a Queen's Gambit. See, this is a Queen's pawn opening, right? Yeah. And this will be a Queen's Gambit. Okay. If you play this this board, if you uh, if you play like something like this, it will be a, a king uh, queen's pawn opening. Okay. Oh. If you play okay. this pawn here, then it will be a what will be the name of this opening? Queen's gambit. Queen's gambit. Okay. If someone play uh, like against this move, what will you call this? Queen's gambit accept. Yes. If someone play uh, this move. Queen's gambit decline. Yes. If someone play this move. Um, Slav defense. Yes. So we will do Queen's gambit decline. Now can you tell me what will be the best move here for the white? I think that the best one will be knight f3. Knight to f3. Knight to f3 is good move. We can play this move. Okay. Uh, I always play this move. Okay. See, there are two moves. Knight to f3 and knight to c3. Uh, the knight okay. uh, to c3 also good move. But the problem uh, with knight c3 is this black bishop get activated soon. Black can activate this black bishop immediately and pin the knight. knight. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, I also play knight f uh, three o. I also play knight f three. Okay, so okay. we will see the knight f three only. So what we what do you think? Which which will be the best move as a uh, black here? Black play. I'll play as a black player. I think that the best move might be knight to c six. Knight to f six. We always see as a black player. We always activate this knight here. Okay, we cannot activate okay. this knight here. We will move this pawn here one or two step. Then we activate okay. the, this knight here. Okay. okay. Not there. Okay. okay, what will be the next move? Uh, as a white, can you tell me? As a white player, I think that the next move yes. will be knight to c3. Knight to c3. See, if we move the knight c3, uh, we should play if we wanted to play. Like if we need to play, why we did not play it before? Knight C3. Oh yeah, because the bishop will get uh, activated soon. Yes, we will wait for this bishop. If when black will activate this, we will first we will uh let black to activate this bishop. Okay, if once black activate this bishop, then we will activate the knight. Okay, if black attack the king, we will activate this bishop. Okay, bishop capture, okay. you will capture with the knight. You you are winning the tempo here. Okay, okay. so here okay. we can play simply. Uh, we can play here. This move also possible, but this is a good move. E3. This is a played in many games. E3. Move. Okay, now okay. bishop to E7. Now can you tell me the move? What will you play now? He played now the Now I will play knight to C3. Yes, knight to C3. Now we can play knight to C3. Okay, what will you play as a black? What do you think? What is the obvious move for the black? I, I think the obvious move for the black is bishop to b. Bishop to? b4. No, bishop to b4. How? This bishop to b4. We do not move any piece twice in opening. Oh, yeah. Now there is no use to move it. But white oh. won't. White activate the knight. White won't that he moved the bishop twice, but black cannot. What is the obvious move after activating both? Uh, we, both oh, castling. Castling. Yes. Castling is the best move here. So what will you play as a as a white? The white, I think that I would play knight to d. No, knight, not knight. Um, Bishop to d3. Bishop to d3. Bishop to d3 is good move. Do you know what black is waiting here? 
black is waiting if white moves this bishop. If once white moves this bishop, black will capture this pawn. And we will move the pawn twice in opening. We will move oh. the bishop twice in opening. So we cannot allow it. But in some moves, we can play bishop to d2. It is okay. okay to play if capture. Now, but if black will capture. We are losing the tempo. We can play e5, then we can capture. Okay, so this this opening, this move, these moves are possible. Now we can capture. Now, if you see, our king is in center. Black did the uh, complete the development. If capture, uh, like our king is not safe here. Okay, so okay. we cannot activate this bishop. We will activate this bishop first. What we will do? First, we will protect this pawn somehow. How we can protect this pawn? I, I could play pawn to b3. See, there are two moves. First, we can capture it. If capture, capture. Now we can play bishop to d3. It is a good move. And okay. second move is, second move is just simply move this pawn. Okay, both moves are correct. Now, if bishop wins, we can simply play bishop to d7. Knight jump, we can capture the knight. We are winning free knight. If capture, capture. Okay, if capture, capture. Okay, white is better. Sir, yes. I have a question for this one. You yes. said after if after bishop pins the knight. Yes. See, it is a wrong move then, for black. Black. It is a wrong move uh, for black. What you want to say? Uh, I was saying if bishop pins the knight and then after bishop plays yes. d2, you yes. said that the knight will that the knight will go here. Yes. To then then knight will capture after knight captures then will why didn't Okay. Bishop capture you mean? Yeah. Knight will capture. White win the piece. See. White is piece up. First capture the knight. Capture the knight. Now capture the uh, bishop exchange. Free knight and bishop exchange. Right? Mm. So yeah. piece up. This is a wrong move. Okay. Bishop cannot play this move here. After this move, bishop cannot be played. This move is possible. What we can play now? Now we can activate the bishop on c4. Correct. We wait this see, we wait for this capture, then we activate. Now, what is the best move? What do you think? For black? I, I think for black, the next move might be knight activate to c6 black will not activate the knight here on c6 black will always black, black always activate this knight on d7 e6 oh. will be see e6 pawn activating the queen b5 okay th this is a continuation here but here oh. why black still want to win the tempo over this bishop black will play a6 Idea behind this move, b5, activating the bishop. Okay, see, now bishop will go to bishop, what black, see, white is about to lose tempo. Black is about to attack the bishop with pawn. What will you play here as a white? Um, as a white player, yes. I will move the bishop to d3. Correct, bishop to d3. Well done. Okay, what black will play now? Oh, black might play bishop to... Oh, black can't play. Black might now activate the knight to d7. Yes, knight to d7 is good move. See, you should follow opening principles, you will give correct answer. Knight to d7 or we can play c5. Both moves are equally better. Okay, knight d7. What is the idea? White is see white king is in center. Okay, black is wanted to black wanted to open the center. Try to play c c5. C5 or 
pawn to b5 activating the bishop here. Now the king is in center. So what white should play here? Oh, white should castle. Yes, white should castle. What black should play now? Now black should move the pawn to b6. B. No. C5. Want to activate the bishop here. C. C5. Okay. If capture. See this winning and the capture. tempo on this bishop. Black is not. Like black is just want to win tempo on this bishop. White is trying to protect the bishop. White is not allowing black to win tempo over it. But eventually if capture. Black will win the tempo. Now if bishop goes back. See two pieces are attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back. Finally, black yeah. with the tempo yeah. over bishop. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, here he played this move. After that, what do you think? Should should white, white capture this one? Um, no. So, what should white play here? I think that white should just move the pawn or See, uh, under, yeah, uh, see, see, indirectly, black is attacking this bishop. Hmm. If captured, the bishop will be under attack. Knight will capture. So, white will move this bishop back. Okay. So, what black can play here? I think that now... Oh. Now, black can capture the pawn. Capture the pawn, no. White will see if capture the pawn, this knight will be in center. Okay, white, the which is the bad piece of black? Can you tell me? Passive piece, which is the passive piece of black? Oh, the passive piece of black is the isolated pawn on c5. No, isolated pawn. This is not isolated pawn, like a, there are three pawns. This is an unactive bishop. This is a passive piece. Can you oh, see? Pawn Cannot to B6. be activated. Pawn to b5, not b6. If you move to b6, this pawn will be unprotected. b5. Oh, okay. okay, try to activate here in long diagonal. Okay, what white can play here? Can you tell me? White can capture the Capture the pawn on c5. If if capture the pawn, this knight will be sit in center. Oh yeah. Which then... piece black white need to activate? White. Oh, white can needs to activate the uh, bishop on on c1. No, bishop on c1. Where will oh. you activate the bishop on c1? But... Oh, we can't activate the bishop points. Oh, actually, we could activate it on. No, then they will do the bit. We could activate the rook. You need to activate the bishop on c1. Where will you activate? Oh, I could activate it on d. Um, two, d two. D two blocking the queen. Oh, then b two. B two in long diagonal. See now, in future, you are planning to. Open the center. Capture the pawn with pawn. Knight capture does not matter. Your bishop is attacking the king directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. What black will what will you play as a black here? As a black. Yes. Oh, bishop on b7. Bishop on b7, right. Okay. What will you play as a white now? As a white. Yes. Now we as have a white. Yes. I think that I might move the move the knight. Knight or bishop? Not the knight. See. We um, put this bishop, bishop in long diagonal. We put this bishop in long diagonal. Sorry, I'm 
in this long diagonal. So, what is our plan? Why we put the bishop in this long diagonal? To attack the king directly? Yes. So, which piece is blocking the king? With blocking the bishop. The pawn. Okay. So, how can you remove the pawn from here? Just move the pawn to d5. Not d5. If you move it to d5. No, not d5. C5. C5. Correct. Now, if uh, which piece will capture it? Bishop or knight? How will you capture with this bishop or knight? I think that I will capture with knight. Okay, see, if there there is uh, this e3 pawn, if there would be a, in, uh, some consequence happens where this pawn would not be here, then you can capture with bishop. In this position, there is a pawn. Okay, now you can capture with knight. Okay. Like someone yeah. play, someone make a mistake. First play this pawn, then capture, then capture with bishop. Okay. In some consequence. Now capture with knight. If there would be a no pawn, this pawn, then capture with bishop. Okay. Sir, Understood. Yes. yes. Sir, so we are supposed to capture with knight, not bishop, right? Not bishop in this position. In this position, we will capture with knight. In some position, it happens like uh, white lose the tempo, white move this pawn in starting, and this position happens in your game. You capture with bishop. If there would be a no pawn, this pawn would be not there. Okay. okay. Understood what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so knight, what will you play as a white? Now? As a white player. As a white player, I think that... Oh, the queen is attacking me. Should I capture the queen? No. Um, I could play the queen to... Or should I protect it? Oh, I could play... No, I could I could play queen to b1. No. Queen to b1 is fine move. Queen to b1. Queen to b1 is not correct. See, this is not correct. This is a passive. You are blocking the rook. See, this is an open file. Which piece we always put in open file? The rook. Yes, there are three moves. You can capture it. Capture the queen. If you capture the move, queen, you are helping to black. You are helping black to activate the rook. Okay, but you can play this one and this one. This will be a like something like a simple simplification. Okay, and second move is just put the rook on c1. And third one is you can attack the knight. Okay, which which one okay. will you prefer to play? This is complicated line. So we'll try to play this one. Okay. See. Okay. Attack this. Now knight, if knight, where what what is the best move for a black? Oh sorry. Mm. Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rook C1. Okay, we see. Okay, here we, we were. Okay, so what do you think? What will you play as a black? You need to protect the knight. I would play the knight to um E4. Knight to e4. Okay, if you play knight to e4, okay, knight will capture e4. What will you play? Um, then I will play knight capture the knight on e4. Okay, knight will capture. Now, if what what white can play here? White can capture the queen. 
capture the queen. Capture the queen again will be a simple. See, white can play this move, trying to activate this rook here. Okay. If capture, capture with the rook or queen. Okay. Oh. Okay, can play this move. This is a white, it is a equal position, kind of equal position. Okay, if play here, uh, see, best move is here, this move. Okay, capture. Rook F capture. Now bring the knight back. Okay, pawn is under attack. Okay. And rook oh. A, C, 8. Trying to activate this one. If capture, bishop capture, what can you play? If bishop capture, then you can attack with pawn to A. Simply A4. A4 will be played. Oh. If B capture A4, what we can play? Then knight A4. If capture A4, knight A4. Knight A4. Okay, it is fine position. White got these active pieces in one pawn. White but is sir, not... the knight is being activated in the corner if they capture, right? Yes, white is not bad. So white is not that good in this position. Okay, that's why black want to play this move. Okay, here can play this move. Okay, this also working. But here, okay. It is a good move. Okay, this is a good. Okay. okay, this is a good way to play. Understood queens can be declined. Yeah. Okay, I am going to show you a game played in. Okay, let me check. Hmm. Some high rated player. Okay, see this game. The same opening. D4, what is the best move? D5. D5. He played knight f3. He just trying to mix up the position. It is a queen. It's a, eventually, it will be queen's gambit uh, decline. See how how he reach in the queen's gambit decline. Just he played some move first and some later. If you see. But eventually, he got the queen's gambit decline structure. Did you see? He yeah. activate the knight first. Okay. See. Black plate DC4. Okay. Eventually, queen's gambit decline structure. Okay. They play. Which is the best move as a black? As a black player, the best. As a black player, the best move is was to activate the knight. Bishop to e7 is best move. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But he played okay. c6. He mixed the move. Self defense. Okay, knight d3 c. You can play this type, this card. You can play like this as well. See, in this position, black lose the tempo on bishop. White lose the tempo on bishop two times. First, second. Okay. Black got this good pawn nothing. structure. Yeah. Black got this good pawn structure. Okay. This bishop will be okay. here and will move this pawn. Put the knight here. Or bishop here. Okay. He will try to activate the bishop here. Black will be. Move the pawn if capture, capture with the knight. Give up the queen, capture. Okay. Play like this. Okay. Exchange the pieces. Okay. See, he first exchange the pieces, then he play this move. Right. Capture, capture. Okay, it is a drawish line. See. Both the players are just trying to exchange the pieces. See. And it is a draw game. Okay, three repetition and it is draw. Okay, so did you understand? Uh, Queen's Gambit. Yeah, yeah. 